Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to cloud test lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. So we will start with the automation testing. All right. Okay. So first let's understand where exactly you know it is applied and then we will try to explore more on this. Okay. Okay. So first of all you got to tell me what are the steps that we follow in the manual testing. Yes, who is going to tell me what are the steps to be followed for the manual testing? Okay, Ritu, I will unmute you. All right, you got to tell me. Yes, Ritu, go ahead. I have unmuted you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, first, uh, first step is test requirement gathering. Second is test plan and analysis. Third is test design. Fourth is test implementation and execution. Fifth step is uh, result analysis and defect reporting and tracking. Sixth is test closure activity. Okay. So first is test requirement gathering. Then we have the test plan and analysis. And then thirdly we go for the test design, test design. wherein we prepare the RTM test data and then we have the test case okay after that test implementation and execution yes implementation and execution okay and then uh, then result analysis and defect reporting and tracking Last okay, so these are the different steps of the manual testing. Now we got to implement the automation testing means basically let's try to understand all the manual testing phases have to be you know like automated or is it that you know we can automate certain processes only where exactly the automation is implemented over here we got to find out that okay so let's try to find out okay hold on So now when we are talking about the automation, okay, it's not that, you know, right from the first phase to the last phase, everything can be automated. Automation can be done here only for the execution, okay. 
here we are going to do the automation when we you know talk about automation you know we should not come under the assumption that we will be automating right from the first stage to the last stage the step that can be exactly automated is this, the execution process okay and if we have to do the automation there is one additional step that we got to add in the test design we call it as a test script design okay we got to write the test scripts if we have to implement this automation okay so what exactly we do in the automation is the steps that are to be executed in order to test the software have to be automated and even the result observation will be done by this automation testing tool okay so this is exactly your automation testing tool is going to do result observation means it is also going to give you the result as whether the test is pass or fail again this you got to make an entry into your defect report document or you know your quality center defect module you can make the entry over here and before this okay requirement gathering then test plan and analysis and then preparation of the test design wherein you have the rtm test data test case everything have to be conducted over here so only this phase is going to be automated using the tools okay now i hope you know the role of the automation testing is clear to you so basically test automation it is the use of a software in order to control the execution of the test and the comparison of the result the actual with the predicted or the expected then the benefits of the automation testing automation is fast it is reliable repeatable programmable comprehensive and reusable so more about these benefits we will be able to understand okay when we will be starting with the tool i will be explaining these in the more detail for you then we have the automation testing tools okay so the different automation testing tools that are available are the rational robot we have the wind runner we have the qtp selenium silk test qa run web ft okay so these are the automation testing tools which are currently into the market now when there are so many automation testing tools how do you select which tool you are going to use for your project okay what criteria are you going to consider in order to use the or you know select the testing tool so here is your tool selection criteria first of all it should meet the requirement then the technology should be matching technology in the sense the technology based on which the software is being developed should be matching then it should be user friendly it should be compatible with the hardware and the software that you are using and then the price also should be within the budget okay so these are the criteria that you got to consider in order to select the tool then we have the qtp okay quick test professional qtp is nothing but it is quick test professional okay it is developed by mercury interactive and currently it is owned by a company called as hp then qtp supports both the web applications and also the windows based applications it was developed in 2002 and then the test script is developed on the vb script so the programming language that we are going to use in the qtp it is visual basic it is the simplest of all the programming languages that we have then the qtp is going to basically support all these languages the dotnet j2ee the mainframe xml java and the erp like sap siebel and then the people soft so these are the languages that are supported by the qtp and then qtp can run only on the windows platform and it doesn't support the unix linux or other operating system okay so it can run on the windows platform but the latest of version of the qtp okay there is also a mac version that they have released so it works on the mac machines also 
Then the latest version that we have, it is the QTP 11. Okay. And these are the steps that you got to follow in order to do the testing using the QTP. The first thing is you got to do the preparation for the recording. You got to record a script, then enhance your test, do the debugging, execute your test, analyze the test result and also report the defect. Now you can do one thing, note down all these steps and just go through them once for two minutes and then I will move to the next step because these are you know very important steps that we got to follow one by one. So I request everybody to write them down okay in a paper or in a notepad so that you know you can refer them when we start using the QTP okay. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com On our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-1269. 615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.